morning. Welcome to the vlog. First day of uh, nursing school. <laughs> Let's go. I have dosage cup test today and two two hour lectures. Do not want to go. Alas, it is what it is. Let's get up. Let's brush our teeth. Let's get dressed. Let's get out the door. It is raining today, so it's literally like one of those days where you just don't want to leave the bed, but, you know. Oh my gosh, and I got the dosage cap test. Let me just make sure I know all my units. Okay. Guys, don't be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. I'm so nervous. But I'm about to get up anyway. I have to go. Hey guys, so before we get into this video, I just want to take a quick moment to thank our sponsor, Lectorio. Lectorio is an online learning platform that offers video courses with corresponding learning material for healthcare students. Some of their features include their video library, their huge question banks, and their space repetition quizzes. Lectorio also just released their all new nursing school survival guide, which features the popular social media nurse, Nurse Liz. This video series covers topics on different aspects of nursing, ranging from deciding if nursing is even right for you, applying to nursing school, working while in nursing school, the NCLEX, what to expect when working as an RN, and the different nursing degrees that you can proceed to get after graduating. It is over 60 different videos outlining a bunch of advice over topics that we all may find ourselves asking questions about at some point in our nursing journey. Each video on average is about 11 minutes and there's over four hours worth of content, so you're definitely getting your money's worth. I personally have been glued to the screen ever since this course came out, especially with the topics that she goes over that I find the most interesting, such as working while in nursing school, travel nursing, which I'm very interested in doing, and the pros and cons of night shift versus day shift. If you guys want to check out Lectorio today, make sure to click the link down in the description box below, and you can use the code TianiMcBoy20 to get 20% off your monthly or yearly premium membership. Thanks so much again to Lectorio for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. Why is my, my watch trying to scare me? I haven't used this in a minute, but it only been like a couple days, a couple weeks maybe actually, I'm not gonna lie. And why is it saying 10.30? I hate that. It's 8.53. Okay, it, just, it literally just updated to 8.53. Oh, because it's still on my old phone. I got okay. I got a new phone, but that's besides the point. I have to get ready. I have to go. I, can't, I cannot tell that story right now. I have to get everything. It's almost. I'm not even going to lay my edges. I don't even have time. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my phone. That would be nice to take, right? Okay. Bring a water bottle. <laughs> I love the back and forth. I love it. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to put my camera away because it's raining outside. So, TTYL. See you guys in the car. Hello? Hi guys. I'm on break right now. We didn't even start learning anything yet. Like you see how low key the first day is. We uh, was uh, we took our dosage calc test. Guys, I didn't want to talk about it. We took our dosage calc test and then we went down to the lecture hall. Um, yeah, and we were looking for a teacher for like ever. And then she was trying to go over the test because when I say half the class failed that test, 
half the fucking class failed that test. Um, of course I'm included, why not? Look, you know, we gotta spice it up, spice up the vlog. So, um, yeah, your girl got a 70 and I needed a 90. It's 10 questions, um, 30 minutes to do it. And yeah, so that was cute, but like half the class got a 70. Like when I say half the class, like usually it's not that many people. So I feel better. So I'm not like super stressed out about it. Um, we're about to go over it anyway. But then they couldn't figure out how to get into the ATI and see everybody's individual answer to go over the questions. So they're trying to figure that out right now. So they was like, just go to lunch, come back, and we'll do it then. So I'm chilling. I'm going to lunch. Um, they think maybe it's like an issue with the way they entered the questions and stuff. Because a lot of people, they said something about the answer was 0.45. But, you know, we know that you're supposed to put a zero before the point, like it's needed. So I think they probably put only 0.45 as an answer, and then we put 0 0.45. So I think it marked us wrong for that. We don't know. We're going to figure it out, but we have to get into the test first. So right now I'm at McDonald's, you know, trusty old McDonald's. I hate it. I hate that I'm here, but your girl got to eat. I'm starving. Um, I could go to Chick-fil-A, but I don't really care for Chick-fil-A. Like, I uh, don't love it. So yeah, and this McDonald's app loves to like log me out every chance it gets. Especially when I'm sitting in front of the McDonald's ready to order. Okay. okay. Look at this. Look, McDonald's really be acting like they need two-factor authentication. They said, oh yeah, go to your email that we sent you and that's how you can log in. Girl, you're McDonald's. Like, come on. Uh, so irritating. But I'm gonna do it. I need my dollar fry. I'm not paying, paying more than a dollar for a fry. Yes, ma'am. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. Hey guys, so I just got out of my lecture. Oh my god, I am so tired. Like, I was falling asleep the last 30 minutes of it. It was so long. And honestly, we didn't really get into it until like um, one hour in when we had an hour left. So, it was just a lot. Like, the lecture, just this morning, the test, uh, everything being up so early and I didn't get I didn't get that much sleep yesterday I mean I got sleep but I didn't get as much as I would like it's just like a lot um so yeah right now I'm going home I'm gonna probably go pick up some stuff at my house and then I have to go drop some things off like do some returns real quick and I guess I wanna I really do wanna like try to study like what I missed because I recorded it on my phone, but it's just so much stuff, like, guys, it's just so much, and apparently I need gas too, so it's like, oh my god, it's just raining all day, who wants to be out in the spring and not me, I don't know, we'll see, because I definitely have to do those returns, I didn't want to return something for him, I guess I need to be dead today, <laughs> do I have to do that? So I'm definitely gonna leave again. I just, you know, just don't feel like it. But yeah, so now I'm him. I'm about to uh, go inside and just, I guess, decompress for a second. And then I'll let you guys know what my next move is. Two hours later. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to go to the library. Well, I'm going to do my errands that I didn't do yet. I'm gonna finish those errands <laughs> and then I'm going to the library. So I'm packing my study bag now. So basically I'm taking yeah. stuff from my book bag and some other stuff that I didn't bring to school with me and I'm bringing it to the library. Also, did I update you guys? I don't think I did. I ended up getting a 90 on my test, so I did not fail. So we're good. 
Um, I remember telling you guys that they might change the grades because a lot, like I said, a lot of people failed it. And it was because of the way they put things, like the way they had the, because it was like a fill in the blank type of thing. It wasn't like a um, A, B, C, or D question. So I guess the way they put it on the fill in the blank wasn't specific enough. And a lot of the times people was getting it wrong over something stupid. So they went over each individual question with us um, individually and then decided if it was like okay to round it up or not based on what we put and I found two questions so remember I got only three questions wrong but she found two questions that were not fairly graded so I ended up getting a 90 so I'm so thankful I was gonna be so tight if I had to retake this test I'm like bro because it's so annoying to have to retake something because it's not like you're taking over the ones that you got wrong you're taking over the entire test so god forbid I do something that I got right wrong and now I gotta worry about that and I only get one more chance that's it so I'm just happy it's over it's done with it's handled and I don't have to think about it anymore Everyone waited to see if I was gonna run it. <laughs> that is funny. Look at this rain. Ridiculous. Guys, the rain just literally stopped all at once. Cause I just drove from under the cloud, I guess. Oh my god, look at that. No rain. That's sick. Literally as soon as I put the camera down, it just stopped. That is sick, sick, sick. Wow. sit on pillow. I usually just sit on it, but I can put it on my back because I didn't realize these chairs were cushioned. And I got two chairs. So I got a blanket, it will be a brick. I got all my stuff. So now I'm just going to study. Um, I'm really just going to get myself organized for the semester because I didn't do that. Because I was in denial about the semester starting because I wanted to enjoy my summer. Now going to class really kind of cemented that. Oh my god. Look at that poop right there. Okay, already, already starting because of my in class. <laughs> but um, yeah, going to class really cemented that it's time to start the semester to get your shit together. Otherwise, it will get it together for you. And I don't want that again. So I'm gonna start getting myself organized. Oh. Hello? I can't believe that lady was just standing there. Anyway, I'm gonna start getting myself organized. And um, yeah, I still haven't bought my course point which is basically my textbook that has like all my prep use, which is like, I'm like so paranoid, which is like all my prep use. That's basically like practice questions that we do for um, like my teachers to be having to sign in like practice questions and stuff. So yeah, I gotta buy that. I think I wanna do that right now because um, I need to get started on some of those prep use. They already opened it. Some people already finished them. Oh my God. And there's a lot. There's a lot. This class is like split up into seven weeks and seven weeks. Half is 
with sheets, which I'm doing right now. The other half is gonna be maternity and OB, so yeah, I need to get my shit together because I only have seven weeks. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna start doing stuff. I have like two hours and ten minutes until the library closes. I need to get my work in because <laughs> the errands took longer than I hoped they would, even though I kind of assumed I'd get here this late, but that's my fault. I'm just gonna get started. Watch the ads. in the day my camera died while I was at the library so I didn't get to get any more shots for you but oh god that was terrible <clears throat> I did not get to get any more shots for you but pero I just ordered redash for dinner um <laughs> I really need to go to the gym I need to stop ordering food but I'm hungry <laughs> so anyway quick uh mukbang for you guys or just like a food haul i got i got food from it was dave and busters but you know when they have like those like mystery kitchens or like online kitchens or like ghost kitchens that's what they're called ghost kitchens where they like rename the kitchen of dave and busters and put it on doordash but it's dave and busters food <laughs> it's that so yeah i got wing -a oh they look so dry and plain i got uh chicken tenders and i got French fritters, even though I ate like half of them. There was a lot of fries in here, but I've been sitting here eating this while I was waiting for my camera battery to come back. And yeah, I got a bunch of sauces. And I also added on a donut, cause why not? So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just decompressing from my very long day. <laughs> and I literally have no more class for the rest of the week. I have to do this like growth template. Basically all the milestones of child Hood development due Monday. That's my next time I have class. I have clinical Monday. Next Tuesday, we're supposed to have lecture. We're supposed to have lecture, but it is not happening. Like it's like the school doesn't have classes because it is professional development day. I don't care. <laughs> Sounds good to me. So yeah, I will be home <laughs> next week. So literally, I have today where I had class. I have no more class this week, and I have one class next week which is my clinical, which is on campus. Oh, and I found out some more bad news. My clinical site just broke out with COVID. 
<laughs> like, girl, that is so 2020. So they just broke up with COVID, so they're not letting us come. And the first week of clinical, we usually do on campus anyway. So next week, I was already not going to go. But um, the week after, we were supposed to start going. And now we might be on campus again. And we only have this clinical for like four weeks. I think my clinical is literally only four weeks. And the class is seven. So there's three weeks where I go without a clinical, which is this week. And I guess the last two weeks of class. And it's looking like I might spend most of the clinical day on campus doing sims i love that so yeah that's an update with me but i'm just chilling now i'm watching youtube videos i got some stuff in order but i need to do more prep use i gotta try to get some of those done because i don't like to have to stress about that at the end oh yeah i never told you the prep use that i showed you that was just for a unit one test i was thinking that was like for the whole semester i was like damn but it's actually not that bad no no, no. that's just for the unit one test so uh, the unit one test is in two weeks so all that i have to get done in two weeks and i had to get to level five so if that wasn't clear um i start at level zero and then you have to answer about you can do five ten or twenty questions and you keep taking those quizzes and getting scores um until you move up the level like the next level so it takes it probably about like seven quizzes regardless of uh five ten or twenty questions it takes about seven quizzes to get moved up to level two and i have how many of those prep views did you see like 15. so yeah i gotta get started on those i have to get a level five on every single one so that's fun but yeah first day of school it didn't go so bad it was a little crazy at first but it all worked out so i'm happy but if you didn't notice i don't have my little buddy with me this semester Barania. i miss her um we did not get to get the same schedule um this semester because we had different days where we were picking and then when i picked by the time she went to go pick my class was not available for her anymore so she's on a whole different schedule than me she literally doesn't even have peds right now she's doing maternity first and i'm doing maternity second so we're literally swapped it sucks but um yeah love you homie if you're watching love you buddy um but yeah so uh yeah i'm gonna end the video here Thank you guys for watching. I love you. Um, I have more nursing videos coming up. Since I don't have so much class, hopefully I should be able to keep editing for you guys. I'm going to try to edit this video tonight. I'm going to see how that works. Because I've gotten advice that I should edit the same day that I film, which I have not been doing. I'm going to try to do that though. Okay, so I'm going to try to work on getting my content out quicker for you guys so I can post while I'm in nursery school because it's very annoying that I have to post everything 15 years later. I don't have to. I just choose to because I get overwhelmed in nursery school, which is fair. But at the same time, I want to be able to update you guys in real time. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to post this video somewhat soon. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you guys see it soon. <laughs> um, and I have some more nursing content coming out for you guys. I have... Actually, I'm just going to let you see. I'm not even going to spoil it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Follow me on all my social medias. They will be right here and in the description box below. And thank you for Lectorio for sponsoring today's video. Love you guys. Wait, love you guys. Make sure you guys check out Lectorio if you haven't already. And use my code. You already know. You already know. Um, yeah. Love you, love you, love you. I'm gonna peace out now and enjoy the rest of my night before I have to face harsh reality, you know? And do all these prep views and stuff. Bye, guys. Love you. Peace. Thank you.